friends, how is everyone doing? Happy Monday. I have left the gym and I'm just hopping on here to talk to y'all and see how everyone's doing and share some tips, share some what the focus is going to be this week. And the focus is always on you. But it's mo most importantly, it's getting uh, relieving our stress. So good morning if you're hopping on. Let me know how you're doing. And in, if you're catching the replay, just hashtag a replay and let me know what you got out of it, if there's anything that uh, you would like to see more of, right? So like I said, it's Monday and I start out my day with doing something for myself, whether it's getting a cup of coffee, going to the gym if I can. If I'm not working, I go right to the gym. I get up. I count five, four, three, two, one. I don't procrastinate and I go do it. Though this day can be jam-packed with activities that I need to complete, I want to make sure that I'm doing something for myself and sending a message to my body that I am important. Whatever that is, it's important to do. So how did I get started on this practice? Writing down five things that I'm going to do for myself because there's something about writing things down that makes it concrete for me, that makes me stick to it, that makes me know that I have to do it, right? Those are the tips that help me and I just didn't want to keep them a secret. I want to help you as well. So right now, if you have a pen and paper and you haven't done this yet, if you have, amazing, write down five things that you want to do for yourself today. And then when you're writing this list out, be positive as you're writing these things out down. Don't say, oh, I'm writing this down, but I know it's not going to happen. Let's use a positive mindset and pick things that you want to do for yourself that you are going to make happen no matter what, right? And then choose one thing off that list. All right. So everybody with me so far? So I came on yesterday. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to try to come on as much as possible. I just disconnected my laptop. Excuse me, people. Um, I'm going to try to come on on Sundays with a tip and, and maybe a, a little workshop or something for you to do. And yesterday what I came, I came on and I was talking about what research shows about mindfulness and meditation. And I'm sure that you've probably read this before, but it's always nice to remind ourselves that there are positive benefits to all these things. And though sometimes that we tend to think that we are not doing this well and I'm not doing it well enough, it's not 100% and you drop it, that it's something that I want you to pick up, go back to it because it can help you relax and, and feel better. And that is meditation. So I joke around a lot and I, and not joke around, but I talk about bubbles because it's really not a joke. There is scientific studies done on this, that if you're saying that you can't meditate and that you're having problems meditating, grab some bubbles and start trying to get that perfect bubble to come out. And I promise you that you've just meditated and you focused on something. Focusing on something is a form of meditation, right? So mindfulness improves performance under stress. And as first responders, whatever that is, if you're a police officer or you're a firefighter or you're a first aider, you're an EMT, you're a doctor, you're a nurse, whatever it is, it's important to find a way to relieve your stress. And this is a proven way that has been researched quite a bit, and that's meditation. So I'll read this to you because I read it yesterday, but I'm going to read it again. Neuroscientists at the University of Pennsylvania investigated whether mindfulness could help offset the loss of mental performance of Marines in stressful situations. In the words of the lead researcher, building mind fitness with mindfulness training can help anyone who must maintain peak performance in the face of extremely stressful circumstances from first responders, relief workers, and trauma surgeons, and the list goes on. Olympic athletes and all that. So a form of mindfulness, right, is meditation. And meditation is really, really good for the mind. It's really good to focus. It's good for releasing. It's, uh, it's great for a lot of things. You can do different forms of meditation. There's, there's guided meditation. I, I recorded one yesterday, and I'm going to add it in the link. You can do uh, just closing your eyes, listening to music. But the guided meditations are awesome because you're listening to someone. And if you don't, if you have a phone, which most of us do, there are a lot of apps on here. But Headspace has a free application that you can go on there and listen to their meditations. There's so many people out here on YouTube. 
Uh, Gabby Bernstein has meditations. There's so many things that you can do. Researchers from the University of Massachusetts Medical School developed an effective approach to sleep, which incorporated meditation. So you know how I talk about maybe getting the Bose sleep buds? And I do have an affiliate link for those if you guys want to get them, check them out. I'll add that in the comments, but I also added them on my website at www.itsmetony.com. If you research those things that I talk about, uh, sleeping and all and oils and all that, there's links that you can click on and get everything there. All right. So the study found that 58% of diagnosed insomniacs reported significant improvements and 91% of those using medication either reduced their dose or stopped taking it completely. All right. So meditation helped people fall asleep. And some people stop taking medicine. So I'm not saying that that's going to work for everyone, but it's a great way to look at it. And if you haven't tried it, it is a great practice to try, right? So exploring the mind, right? And I, this is how I feel is our meditation is exploring the mind. When you pay attention to the mind, you'll most likely discover an endless stream of quickly changing thoughts, rising and falling. A lot of people feel that when they are meditating that they have a lot of thoughts coming in and it's just not working and blah, blah, blah. For me, I find that when those things come up, I am aware of them and then I release them, right? So if there's things coming up, you stop and you focus back on what you need to focus. It can be quite surprising to realize that, realize that this inner narrator is constantly offering plans, preferences, ideas, and memories, all right? So sometimes we look at those negatively, but they're actually not, all right? When you observe your thoughts, you have the opportunity to rest in silence and space between those thoughts. And you can choose which thoughts you want to nurture and which thoughts you want to let go. So what I want to ask you to do is grab a pen and paper and write these down and explore what your thoughts are and set a timer for your meditation, okay? And it's, it's something that I do and it can help you just starting out for five minutes. So set a timer for 10 minutes, relax your body and notice your breath. On every inhale, silently say to yourself, I am here after the 10 minutes, record any thoughts or feelings. All right, so for today, you're going to set a timer for 10 minutes and relax your body and notice your breath. You're going to pay attention to your breath. And then you're going to inhale silently and say to yourself, I am here after 10 minutes, record your thoughts or feelings. We're going to start out very slowly doing this. It's a different approach, uh, a different exercise that I do. I really love it. It works for me. And I think it may work for you too as well. Let's have an open mind, right? I'm going to say it's going to work for you. All right, people, I want to remind you to do something daily to relieve your stress. Don't forget that I'm everywhere uh, on social media. I'm on Instagram at wellness for you with, to with Tony. I'm on uh, anchor podcast. Uh, that is wellness for you. I have a flash briefing that is wellness for you as well. Um, it's going to play in the background. I have a website. It's called www.itsmetony.com. I blog there weekly. There's a ton of blogs on there that I've, that I have um, shared and also here on Facebook at Mindfulness for You, uh, Mindfulness for First Responders, and Wellness for You uh, is our business page. So if you have not been there, head on over there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Invite your friends. And please, 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 more importantly, stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you soon, people.